हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू ग्रो मेड सो एज द एग्जाम इज नियर आई एम बैक विद द सीरीज ऑफ द वन लाइनर बिकॉज दिस वन लाइनर विल हेल्प यू टू क्रैक अ लॉट ऑफ केसेस एंड ऑल्सो द क्वेश्चन इन द एग्जाम एंड द पैटर्न इफ एट ऑल द क्लिनिकल केसेज आर आस्ट समवेयर इन द क्वेश्चन यू कैन फाइंड समथिंग रिलेटेड टू द वन लाइनर एंड यू कैन सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन सो दीज आर लाइक टेन टू ट्वेल्व मिनट्स वीडियोज इन विच वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग क्विकली द इम्पॉर्टेंट वन लाइनर्स आस्ट इन द एग्जाम दीज आर मोस्टली द पी वाई क्यू बेस्ड वन लाइनर्स एंड चांसेस आर देर दैट दीज विल बी रिपीटेड इन द अपकमिंग एग्जाम ऑल्सो सो You can watch these videos in your free time, in your tea breaks, coffee break, and whenever you are not feeling like to study, just on this video, and in a very short time you will able to recall a lot of things. Okay, so already the video on the anatomy is uploaded. You can find it on my Telegram, uh, sorry, YouTube channel, and for more amazing things, uh, join on the Telegram channel. The link will be given in the description box. Okay, so. Uh, i will be uploading other important videos like the buzzword series then uh, images which you must know for the exam and the important topics which you must know so everything so stay tuned for more uh, amazing things so in this video we'll discuss about the physiology one liners so let's start our discussion so the hormone that increases during exercise and the sleep which hormone will be increasing it is the growth hormone so this question was like recently asked in the exam i think uh, in the january exam that a uh, hormone which is increased when you are sleeping and during the exercise is the growth hormone then ldh that is elevated in case of mi is the ldh1 okay so this ldh1 is present in the cells and whenever there is like what mi there will be necrosis so death of the cells these ldh will be released in the serum causing the elevated levels okay ldh1 this is sometimes called as a flipped ratio because usually ldh2 will be increased but whenever there is mi ldh1 will increase and this one is sometimes referred to as the flipped ratio okay then reflex responsible for the tachycardia during right atrial distension is the vein bridge reflexes so these are some important reflexes which you must know the definition of the reflexes so one example is this one vein bridge reflex so whenever there is arterial distension it will cause tachycardia then trypsin nogen is activated by which enzyme so it is the enterokinase this enterokinase enzyme present in the intestine converts this trypsin nogen to the trypsin which is the active form so question are asked like this also that trips enterokinase converts trypsin um trypsinogen into which entity so it is the trypsin okay then next question fastest propagation of the action potential through the heart occurs in which cell so it is the purkinje fibers okay, so fastest uh, flow of the current occurs in this purkinje fibers then small intestine peristalsis is controlled by which plexus so it is the myenteric plexus then moving on to the next question so maximum resistance lies in which blood vessel sorry let me complete this question lies in which blood vessel so it is the arterioles okay then the next question most abundant intracellular ion is the phosphate okay note it down it's not the potassium it is the phosphate which is the most abundant intracellular ion then uh, resting membrane potential so this is a part of this action potential and the resting membrane potential is mostly due to the potassium diffusion okay so potassium diffusion occurs and this causes this resting membrane potential then moving on to the next so muscle uh, the muscle physiology and the golgi tendon organ determines changes in what so whenever there is changes in the muscle tension it is determined by this golgi uh, tendon okay then moving on to the next question so maximum absorption of the bicarbonate occurs at which part of the nephron so it is the pct proximal convoluted tube so just remember one important sentence here that almost all the things maximum of all the things will be absorbed at the pct okay the water the glucose the bicarbonate the sodium everything will be absorbed maximally in the pct rest 
few minimum things will be absorbed in the other parts so whenever you find these question this is like a universal statement so if pct is given in the answer proximal convoluted tubule then mark that as the answer then fitz principle is used for measuring the cardiac output okay then maximum cross sectional area is present in which blood vessel so again the sentence is complete it is asking about the blood vessel so it is the capillaries because uh, in the capillaries there will be active exchange of the ions and the what the gases so uh, maximum cross sectional area is needed in the capillaries and these are also called as a leaky blood vessels right so capillaries they will be having the maximum cross sectional area the maximum resistance in the artery use okay then carotid sinus baroreceptor is most sensitive to what parameter so it is most sensitive to the mean blood pressure so whenever there is changes in the mean blood pressure these uh, sinuses uh, sorry the baroreceptors present in the carotid sinus these are activated and the uh, bp regulation will be happening then surfactant is secreted by which type of pneumocytes or it is secreted by the type two pneumocytes so pneumocytes in the sense present in the lungs so two types of cells one and two so frequently questions are asked on the surfactant and if there is deficiency then it will be causing this uh, respiratory distress in the newborn so it is a quite important topic and frequently questions are asked on this also the surfactant and another question let's look it down here itself that a uh, surfactant is present in the amniotic fluid at what weeks so present at the 28 weeks okay then uh, so this are the things asked on the surfactant so chest x can also be given and they describe the things like um, respiratory distress and this is most commonly seen in what the preterm child so preterm uh, babies this is seen and for that we will be using steroids as the treatment for the maturation of the lung okay so important this one then pacemaker for the start of the rhythmic respiration is pre bodzinger complex okay so this is an important uh, present situated in the brain the uh, complex which will be um, controlling the rhythmic respiration then moving on to the next question so if there is degeneration of the corpus striatum what is seen so it causes chorea so it is the abnormal movements of the body and degeneration of this corpus striatum will be causing this chorea then in brown sequet syndrome what uh, features can be seen so there will be ipsy lateral loss of proprioception and contralateral loss of pain and temperature so quite uh, important to note it down that i am marking a star mark brown sequet syndrome asked multiple times then sensation transmitted by the pacenian corpuscle so these mechanoreceptors are also important the pacenian the merkels then ruffini receptors and frequently questions are asked on this also that the type of this the location the type of sensation they carry so the pacenian corpuscles they carry the fast vibrations asked multiple times fast vibrations okay then a uh, pro prosopnognia is inability to recognize the faces and this is like asked what uh, uh, in integration with the um, psychiatry also that uh, inability to recognize the faces then thyroid hormone acts via which type of receptor so it acts via the nuclear receptor so this receptor part is also important the hormone and the receptor and note it down that you will be getting one short short question on the hormones either the function of the hormones or the receptor of the hormones or feedback mechanism of the hormones and all those things okay so hormone is a must do topic hormone responsible for the galactokinesis it is the oxytocin then phase of the cardiac cycle which corresponds to the first heart sound it is the isovolumetric contraction then hormone that gives positive feedback to lh just before the ovulation it is the estrogen estrogen will be giving this positive feedback mechanism 
then large v wave is present on the jvp so what does it signify jugular venous pressure again an important topic the waves in the jugular venous pressure and the a wave the v wave what does it stand for and if there is any abnormality what does it present like for example the large a wave this one is seen in case of tricuspid regurgitation and like another two examples i'll be giving absent a wave atrial fibrillation then steep x uh, seen in the cardiac tampon and so must 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 the topic jugular venous pressure noted down then most common substance responsible for the plasma osmolality so the substance or the ion that maintains the plasma osmolality is the sodium then most common cause of death in the diabetic ketoacidosis is the cerebral edema asked multiple times and asked in integration with the medicine also then most common feature of the shock is the hypoperfusion of the tissue so this is the common feature seen with all kinds of the shock and note it down shock is also again an important topic so questions are asked on the shock the types of the shock the hypovolemic shock then the distributive shock then clinical cases are also asked on this okay so and sometimes the questions are asked on the management of the shock like uh, which or uh, fluids will be using so we'll be using mostly the crystalloids then um, how will we maintain the blood and blood pressure and all okay so a must do topic so these were some important one liners from the physiology so i hope this video will help you and for the pdf uh, already said that you can join on the telegram channel you can find this pdf there and uh, if you like the video and if you find it useful comment below share it with your friends and subscribe to chromed thank you so much for watching this video bye bye and all the best for the exam